The best way to describe a loft is a smooth transition between profiles. It's a useful command when you're trying to create more complex shapes. Here are some tips for creating a loft in Onshape. Creating a loft is simple. Click on the loft command in the toolbar, then click on the profiles that you want to loft between. You can loft between as many profiles as you would like, but remember, if you have several loft profiles, make sure to select them in order in the loft command, either from left to right, right to left, top to bottom, or vice versa. Another important tip with the loft command is it helps to have the same number of vertices on each profile that you're lofting between. For example, if you're lofting between a rectangle and a circle, one loft profile has four vertices, while the other has zero. When you loft between these two things, Onshape has to guess as to how the transition will line up. Sometimes this can lead to twist in the loft. One easy way to fix this is to use the split command while in the circle sketch and split the circle into four pieces. This will give the circle four vertices, just like the rectangle sketch, and make for a much cleaner transition between profiles. There's also an option in the loft command to match vertices. This will allow you to click a vertice from each loft profile and ensures they line up the way you intended. The next tip is more of a warning. Make sure that your loft profiles do not have any closed profiles within them. For example, if we take the same example from earlier and add a circle to the center of the rectangle, the loft will fail. Because we've added a nested closed profile within our loft profile. If you need to create shapes like this, remember that you can always create two lofts one to create the outside shape, and one to remove the inside geometry. Another thing to mention is you can also loft between faces, even between non-planar faces. You can also loft to a point. One final note about the loft command. It has two different control types that will give you even more control over the shape of your loft, guides, and in conditions. We'll be covering both of these control types and tips for creating advanced lofts in the future.